remember the first time that I looked up and saw the other half. Uh, I saw Asmode up in the sky and I was just like, wow, I mean, that's the other side, that's where the other players are and it's, it's a really cool feeling. I am Lanny, also known as Liv. My main character is Liv and that is actually the same name I go by uh, in the community and um, she is a sorcerer. I am uh, many people in game. I really try to play as many characters and classes as I can just because I get um, asked so many questions every day about all of them. One of the first things I say, you know, when I meet people and they ask what is Ion, is I explain what the word means. So, Ion is the name of the god. He created the world of Atreya, everything inside the world, and all of the resources used to keep the world running. Ion is an extremely cool fictional world that's been torn in half. You know, we create this rich, unique, uh, ethereal world where we have these two uh, races struggling against each other and a third evil faction as well. You need something in an MMO to, to tie you down. If it's not your friends, if it's not a guild or a legion, it has to be the story in the game. That's what's really cool about Ion, is there's a really, really rich lore. The game is really polished. When you look at the environments, you look at the ambient creatures, and you even look at some of the ambient animations, it just brings you into the world. It really makes you feel like you're a part of Atreya. Atreya is the world. Atreya is the planet. So the sphere uh, in which, in, inside which everyone lives, and the Tower of Eternity was sort of like the sun. It was the place from whence all energy and life was bound to flow. If you kind of think of um, an apple, like an apple core, that's kind of what it is. Like the Tower of Eternity runs right through the center. When you look up in Ion, you see both the stump of the Tower of Eternity, as well as in the distance what might look like stars, but is actually the other half of Atreya. So we have the upper half of Atreya, which is Asmodee, and the lower half, which is Elysia. The Elios have stayed almost true to how they looked a thousand years ago. They have rich beaches and lush green environment. The Asmodeans, they really had to struggle to survive. And what I think is really cool, their eyes glow red when they're about to engage in combat. The major story point, the thing that drives the player to uh, move forward and kind of the, the overlying uh, arc of the, the, of the main story would be the destruction of the Tower of Eternity. I think that's really why we're here. What happened was is the god Ion created this race and this race you know, rose to power and became known as the Balur. And this Balur started to terrorize all the humans on you know, all parts of the world. And this obviously you know, didn't go well for either side. There was lots of bloodshed and war and fighting. And that battle occurred and the tower was shattered. Thousands of years went by where they had no idea that the other side had survived and they started to evolve differently. That's when um, they rediscovered each other in the abyss. That is in the center of the planet and that is home to the Valor. And they are um, AI controlled factions. We have the three factions, the Asmodians, the Elios and the Valor all together in the abyss fighting for eternal power. What Ion does really well is, is it gives you a sense of purpose and it makes you feel like you do have an impact in this world of Atreya. When the player begins playing, there's a sort of a mystery about where they came from and what their destiny might be, and it doesn't take long before they realize that they are destined to become, to ascend and become a deva and fight in this sort of holy war. You actually go through a process called ascension. And ascension is this, this awakening inside of you that happens through a life-altering event. You know, the best part of this is that you actually earn your wings and the ability to fly. You learn you're immortal and you get wings. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> we have this element of flight in the game. Flight, it's added an entirely new dynamic to battle. There's a lot of strategy that goes, that's involved with flight. A new way of getting around in the world that MMOs haven't been able to do to this point. The feeling of being in the air in flight is, you know, pretty much unmatched in any MMO out there. But you do start off with a basic set of wings and um, you know, they're white on the Elio side and black on the Asmodean side. And that's something that you get to evolve and customize and build upon uh, through the development of your character is adding longer flight ability 
uh, adding enhancements to your wings so that you can fly longer. You'll actually see people kind of go into this, you know, do I want to be aerial heavy or do I want to be kind of a ground trooper? People are going to have to manage their stats based around that. You're not going to be able to have everything. And this will create a diversity in, you know, throughout classes, throughout stats, and just more customization in the world of Ion. It actually leaks into your real life. I, I went hiking this weekend and I was standing on the, the top of Mount Sai and I was looking over the Seattle horizon and I was like, man, if I had wings, this would be so cool. I could just like fly down. And I think that, that you, you have that same feeling in game where you just, you know, jump off a cliff and hit space bar.